Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. I hope you're all doing well. Are you ready to find out how to catch an elephant? If you want to catch an elephant, first you must find out where elephants live. Then you must go to elephant country and hire a guide to show you where they roam. Sooner or later, you will find an elephant eating his breakfast. Now, shh, be very quiet and watch him carefully. Notice how magnificent he is and how big he is and how many friends he has. Do not get too close because you never know with elephants. They can be easily bothered and you never want to bother an elephant. After a while, when you know a lot about elephants, you must set a trap. Be careful here. Elephants don't like to be trapped and he may become suspicious. Remember, kids, a suspicious elephant should not be underestimated. Now, hide and wait patiently until he steps into the trap. Now watch out! At first he may be just surprised, but then he may be mad. Next, you'll have to get him to the airport. This is not as easy as it looks. And you will have to be quick before the rest of the herd comes racing to his rescue. At the airport, you'll need a photo and a passport and a jumbo jet. Then you'll need a big truck. When you finally get him home, he may not fit inside the house or even in the yard. And the neighbours may not love him quite as much as you do. He'll need tons and tons of food. Elephants are always hungry. And gallons of water. Elephants love to play with water. But he won't play in the pool no matter what you do. Because he will remember playing in the wild rivers in Africa with his family and friends. And he will look sadly at the pool and think, it's just not the same. Next, he will refuse to eat even his favourite foods. He will look sad and lonely. He will not look magnificent anymore. Soon, you will have to call the elephant doctor. The doctor will examine him carefully, listen to his heart, and explain that he's not really ill but just very homesick and must go back to Africa as soon as possible. Then you will realize that he does not belong at home with you. And if you love him, you have to let him go. It might be tricky to find his family again because they will have moved on in search of new food. Also, all elephant herds tend to look alike. But sooner or later, you will find them and the herd will welcome him home. Then you will have to say goodbye. And that will break your heart. But you will promise never to forget him as you watch him walk away across the endless plains back home in Africa where he belongs. You might think it would be easy to catch a lion or even a rhinoceros. But you will soon discover that it isn't so. And in the end, you would realize how happy animals are living wild and free. And maybe you can visit them once in a while. The end. Thank you kids for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story and I'll see you soon in the next video. Remember, always be good and kind. Bye for now.